Hello and welcome to Conchappi's Paragon Open Beta. Today I'm back at it again with another deck build and a guide video for the newest addition to the team. Of course, I'm talking about Lieutenant Belika, or Lieutenant, perhaps, if you're American. Some people call her Belisha, Belika, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced, but there we go. Okay, let's jump straight into my deck build for Lieutenant Belika. My first card, as always, is my prime card, and I go for the Archmages. Uh, this is the card that gets activated when your team catches the Orb Prime, so you get this little extra boost of energy. So go ahead and select that one first. I have stuck on a Harvester Key. I stick a Harvester Key on all my build because you don't want to come unstuck. The amount of times I've been in the game and we're 5, 10, 15 minutes even sometimes into a match and we don't have any Harvesters. So just carry your key, just in case, because it saves you a bit of time. You don't have to stand on the uh, harvester pad for like a minute, waiting for it to be placed. So just grab yourself a key. Now, this is a very mana rich and heavy deck. And the reason why is because I'm using this card, the Hydraversa, which I will explain what it does in a minute. So I'm going to go through this in the order that I equipped it, and hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So my first card, as always, is a ward, and I go for the Mage's Ward, mainly because it comes with mana. I stick on three minor cards onto this card, making it a six-point card. The reason I do this is because the first three points you get will be used equipped in this card, and your second set of three points will be used to fully upgrade this card. So within your first six points, you've got one card fully upgraded already. So, I put my ward on first. As I said, wards save lives. It doesn't matter what character you're playing as, I think everybody should have a ward. So you can see the map at all times and who's on it and where they're coming from. So, carry a ward. Ward save lives. Okay, so as I said, this is a very ma uh, mana rich deck. So, the first few cards we're going to be putting on will be mana cards. So the first one I go for is this Intellect card, the Crystal Conduit, and I stick on three manners with this. This comes with a 16 energy pen, 75 mana, and then when it's fully upgraded, you get 150 mana. So that's why I go for this one first, because you get that massive boost of mana from the bonus. Now it's up to you if you want to save some cards and some points, you can go for the Hydraversa next. But it's a very expensive card. But the way that I play Lieutenant Belisha, you're getting so much CP and so much amber from the minions, you will pretty much be able to afford this card pretty quickly. What this card does is you gain energy damage equal to 7% of your current mana. So the more mana you have, the more energy damage you're going to get. And it's just absolutely insane how much damage you do with this card i stick on one lesser health to make this uh, a nine value card i go for the 12 12 9 9 9 9 decks so that's two cards that value at 12 and four cards that value at nine which will give you your 60 points so i put one lesser health on this just to make it a nine value card so after your ward, after your conduit, crystal conduit, after your hydro versa, I go for the Celestian Diamond. This card gives you a little bit of energy damage, a little bit of health regen, a little bit of mana, and then the bonus of mana too at the end. And again, I stick on three manas onto this card, making it a value of nine. And then my final card for mana is the Wellspring Staff. This gives you energy damage of 6.5, 75 mana, and 13 energy damage once it's fully upgraded. And I stick on three advanced manas. Of course, if you don't have all of these cards, feel free to opt for something that's equivalent to it. But basically, you want this card to 
equal of equal of value of 12 so go ahead and quick that once that is on and your hydroversal is on you are going to be hitting so hard you won't even believe it and so my final card is just for a little bit of extra energy damage another wellspring staff with three major casts now depending on the situation i have these two additional cards here just in case a lantern of spring which gives you a bit of physical armor a bit of energy pen and some cooldown reduction i stick on three guards onto this card making it a value of nine and also the elysian diamond as well both order cards this one gives you a bit of mana regen but it also gives you a little bit of health as well and that's why i stuck on free health so that is it for this deck build hopefully i didn't go too fast for you feel free to pause and uh, f follow along at your own pace but i will go through the order one last time for you so i stick on a mage's ward first followed by crystal conduit then I go for the Celestin Diamond. Of course, these are all filled with mana. Then I go for the Wellspring Staff, filled with mana. And the Hydroversa next. And then finally, I go for the Wellspring Staff. And just to wrap things up, I will drop this Mage's Ward for my second Mage's Ward, which has a little bit of extra damage with the casts, rather than the minor casts. So I drop this 6-point Ward for this 9-point Ward, get that extra damage towards the end of the game okay guys i hope this deck works as well for you as it does for me stay tuned for some gameplay footage to show you exactly how i use belisha and her abilities to absolutely wreck the enemy team and pwn everyone okay so here is a quick demonstration of the combination of using void bomb with seismic assault so i drop my bomb and i do the assault knocks him in the air and just finishes them off with my basic attack and you'll see exactly how quickly you can clear a lane and push forwards so there we are at my first tower at their tower drop the bomb seismic assault and they're near enough dead I just have to pop them two times with my uh, basic attack my minions hardly have to attack I think I do have a string of minions following behind too let's slow it down so you can see what's happening so I drop my seismic assault. Uh, sorry, I drop my void bomb straight away. So they are walking into it now. And once they're inside in a line, I do my seismic assault. Up they go in the air. All enemies have and then my bomb goes off, pretty much finishing them off. And I just pick off the remaining ones with my basic attack. Down they go. And let's have one or two more demonstrations of this. You can see, look how quickly I've pushed this, this lane. And look how many minions I have now with me. So the last wave here. And I'm on the tower. I drop it. I do my seismic assault. And they're all down. Now me and my minions can take the tower. So that's going to be it for this, this quick video. A quick demonstration of an amazing combination. How well you can... Uh, use those two moves with Belika. I hope it works for you as well as it does for me. This is a full demo of how OP this deck is, this build this hero, of course I'm talking about Lieutenant Belika, here we go. Let's see how hard she hits for. Let's try her ulti first. Seven oh six. I am gonna get the uh, the blue d uh, buff actually. Let me get the blue buff. Oh, here we go. We started. Hit for one six six. Oh, it hit me again. That 
rough, man. Oh, no way he got away. Finish it, Gideon. It's not hitting strong enough. Not at that time. Good job, Gideon. I don't know why I'm collecting these. I don't need them anymore. Alright, so 166. Basic attack. Let's get the blue buff. Two oh one. Obviously, the way the Hydra Versa works is the more mana you have, the harder you're going to hit. So I have two seven three seven. Let's take this in head down. One seven one on a uh, one seven two. Where that was getting bigger. Oh yeah, so the more mana I have, the harder I'm gonna hit. Oh look. Dummy. Good job. <laughs> Let's go for Grux. Hello, Gruxy. Oh. What am I hitting? One seven eight. Oh, didn't quite ripple through to him. That's him. Oh, Grux, you silly Billy. <laughs> I am loving, I am absolutely loving Belika. Honestly. That void bomb gives you back a little bit of mana for every target you hit. It's just excellent. Quite get her there. Of course, the blue buff is excellent for her, just for the cooldown reduction. I'm thinking about possibly building a bit more cooldown into this deck. It might be a bit helpful. And that's it. Game over. Well, then we've got to try out the red buff to see how strong she hits with that as well. But it would be interesting to see. She is an amazing character. She really is. Uh, this deck build is amazing too. If you have the chance to, to level her up. The best combination is just to, to use the Void Bomb uh, with the Seismic Assault. And it just wipes out waves of minions. You just clear a lane so fast. Uh, a few times I've been right at the back. Uh, right up by our, say, in here or our second tower, T2. And we've pushed it all the way back up to there in Hibs in like not even a minute. So it's quite a good build. 21 kills there. 156 minion kills. Again, just because you can wipe them out so quickly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this quick preview of Belika. And how OP she can be once she hits 60 card points in level 15. And until next time, everyone. I'll see you on the battlefield.